longer a problem. Disabled. Just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but everyone here is dead. This really help our people, Pastor Gato. It will, I'm sure. So what? Uh, off we go. Jasna, what are you wondering about? Uh yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. I will have a lot of time to think about it. I only have to check if we'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course. I'm on it. Although first. I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Thank you. 
out of his damn curiosity. Who needs to know what might kill us? We're getting killed anyway. I don't know if I should interrupt your speech, sir. It is quite interesting to listen to. Yes, sir. This is too much. I've asked you how many times already. It's not like I'm looking for problems where there aren't any. The task is extremely difficult. Yes, it is. At least we learnt the truth about this planet and the inorganic beings that inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure our people. If anyone from the Alliance survived and they already started their research into a cure, I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Or you'll find more corpses, yes. Hey! Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Oh, I hope it's the latter. If it caught the west wind... It would have fallen in this area. We're lucky. It's hanging from a cliff close to the ground. Can you get to it? I'm hooking. Maybe that won't be necessary. No. I can see them with my own eyes. Two of them, even. Two people, alive. Huh? Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? One was wearing an alliance suit, a green one. The other one... I don't know. He looked different. I see. And now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor. I know what I saw. Two people alive. Some of them survived. And you're going to look for them? Yes. I'm glad we understand each other, sir. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Thank you. How are you feeling? Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. I don't know where frustration ends and a contused lump begins. But at least... Yes? I'm alive. You know what, sir? It was these flies from the very beginning. What do you mean? My accident, for example. It's true, I hurt myself badly back then. Damaged the radio. But that's not why I lost my memory. Soon after, flies flew from the bushes. Right. There were bushes there too. They subjected me to an electromagnetic field. Moreover, I believe the same thing happened to our people in the camp. To the antimat in those tunnels. Uh, and to the whole convoy? Yes.
Ivy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. time. close to this falling balloon. <laughs> ah, what's so funny? Uh, oh, nothing, sir. It's just, in my mind, it sounded like like the title of some renaissance painting. The Fallen Balloon of Regis. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I found the recorder. The Fallen Recorder of Regis. Please stop. From the top. Let's see. The 25th day of the mission. Morning. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. They're operating at full capacity. The base is active. Oh. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. It found some water reservoirs. Many of them. Rocks, water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units, nor significant changes in the surroundings. The balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. Two. 
two vehicles that weren't there before. And they're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square next to the vehicles. Oh, they've left. There are no vehicles. There's no one. They must have set off towards our base. Or to the ship. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. There are actually quite a few of these. Oh. Captured the moment I entered the base. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon, I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. Wait, you're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man. So he's real after all. I knew it. I told you. That you did. Please forgive my doubt. But where is this man now? And can we expect any more? I think he's near the base. Judging by the last slide, the Alliance must have a hideout there. Then we need to go back, I guess. Still a certain conviction in me. I think people can be more dangerous and deceitful than anything else we may encounter on our journey. I know that. Sometimes I think the presence of humans is the worst thing that happened in space. Or to space, even. And why do you insist on seeking them out? Because I also believe in human goodness a selfless desire to help others. I can't believe otherwise. All my efforts would be meaningless. I don't know whether to envy you or to worry even more. Oh, the probe again. Is it flying near the base, within range of the control center? Uh, affirmative. And? Do you expect me to rummage through the enemy's equipment? Again. Well, in my opinion, the more we learn while delaying our encounter with the Alliance, the better. So, what would it be, Doctor? Agreed. I'm curious to see what it's recorded. Especially since it witnessed what happened to the convoy. seems to be slipping through my fingers like sand. So much sand. You're so tired, Jasper. Oh, because I am tired, Astrogator.
But as far as I remember, we've run out of options here. Miss Turf, if I were you... With all due respect, Astrogator, it is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will... I'll find the man. See no dots. you're blaming me for get up i said get up such murderous shit. Hey, don't turn around. You're a scientist, just like me. What are you doing? You don't shoot at people. Shoot. He has a gun. I'm a technician, smartass. Firearms or chemical weapons. What's the difference? Same outcome. Look, I know that people have died. Your comrades, but you have to understand. Huh, I see you're no longer pretending. Listen, you'll stand before the Astrogator or the entire council. That's right, obviously. It's really not necessary. But if you try anything, I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Yes, no. I don't know what you're trying to do, but he sounds serious. There has to be a way. I don't know what will happen to me. What did you say? Quiet, Yasna. Don't take any chances with him. He's been talking to me. I'll ask the questions, you just answer them. A short yes or no. Is there anyone else? Apart from him? No. Okay, leave it, Yasna. Let's focus on something else. Uh, start, damn it. Uh, do you want to tell me something about this man? Something about his appearance, maybe? When it rains, it pours, huh? No. -uh. Understood. In that case. It works. Let's go. Break time's over. I can hear something's happening. <laughs> expect you to have a second one here. Yes, really? Oh, really? I'm listening. I have no idea what this place is, nor why or, or where you're leading me. Doctor, bite your tongue for once. Somehow I don't expect I'll meet your astrogator here. You're right. It's just me and my colleagues. Yes, the ones who are less fortunate. Maybe it's good that you came here. Get 
get in. Go, Yasta. Stay calm. I, I don't want to. Go. Yasta, I can hear you. Sit here. thought the speleologists weren't exactly the funny types. Although, Spliskis the speleologist sounds pretty damn hilarious. Come on, we must be hungry. One for you. And one. For Spliskis. I'll pass for now. Wouldn't be able to swallow anything anyway. Spluskas, my friend. It's just me. Take it easy. You're safe. But you have to eat something to have strength. Oh, gee. Don't do that. It's tasty. Eat. Come on. Eat. Did you like it? Unfortunately, I don't have any good news. I've searched the caves. I know Dr. Magdov went down there. If only you could tell me which cave she worked in. Maybe it would be easier then. If only you could. Zebulon has also gone missing without a trace. I don't even know where to look. In the whole pond wave. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe by then, with reinforcements. so much. your own business. Hello, Bridge. 
Rohitra speaking. Ah, Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting through. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the mission, 1300 hours, 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. I have arrested one person. It's a woman, unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby, but this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup, over and out. Hey, Milos, hope you're still in range. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. She was talking to someone on the radio, but I didn't see anyone around. I see what you're doing. Oh, I just wanted to sit more comfortably. Yeah, sure. Better get comfortable with discomfort. Or sit around for a while. My name's Yasna. Rohitra, right? <clears throat> I work as an astrobiologist. He's a spy. Don't eavesdrop on me, Yasna. Don't talk to me. Uh, I just wanted to ask. Don't ask. <laughs> uh, so what now? Uh, talk to the wall? I'm not prohibiting you from doing that. Yet. Uh, are you shielding yourself from the flies? Did you know there's methane in the atmosphere? I know. These tanks are a temporary solution. Wait, Condor? Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah, so? It doesn't make any sense. Are you are kidding me? You're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? Invincible was supposed to be here soon. Not Condor. Not now. Where did you get this information from? From intelligence. There you go. You finally admit what you were up to here? I'm from the Dragonfly, a small research unit. We're looking for planets with rich flora and fauna. That's the only reason we landed here. No way. This planet is a complete corpse. According to estimations, it should be teeming with life. With its atmospheric composition and insulation, it should be a veritable paradise. We couldn't have predicted that- Fine, fine. If you don't want to tell me the whole truth, then don't. But do not lie. Intelligence is not interested in flowers and bees. Um, do you smoke? I would if I hadn't run out. Here. Sorry, but I wasn't lying. We're just scientists who've had awful luck. Uh -huh. Our intelligence, your intelligence. Our orders, your orders. It's all gone to hell, Rohitra. Now we need to focus on the people. I know what's wrong with them. Should I expect them here? Your people? I'm the only one left on the surface. The astrogator stays in the orbiting dragonfly, and there's no contact with the rest. If you lie, you only harm them. Several dozen of our men set off from Milos to Condor. If they find more Commonwealth spies, they may be less sympathetic than I am. I'm telling you this for the last time. I didn't lie. All right, all right. Let's change the subject.
was the last time you had something to drink? The last time? I don't even remember. Thought so. It's water. <laughs> Local, but true. Go ahead. You must be thirsty after everything you've been through. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, I needed that. it and how this planet is inhabited by microbots that your scientists have called flies millions of microbots a real cloud what a cloud of flies which can literally erase the human mind wash away all memories that sounds can you prove it somehow i could if you released me nice try you'll do as follows mark 10 will watch over you Keep an eye out for Milos. As soon as he returns with help, you will show us this cloud. Mark 10, come to me. Supervisory procedure. One person, a woman. No Alliance ID. Targeted. I confirm. Should I start the surveillance? Yes. Guard our guest. Peter, I, I escaped. Doctor, what a relief. Where exactly are you? I'm near their hideout. Though I intend to change that as soon as possible. There? Have you met Spooskas and Lendl? Yet. How do you know their names? I've intercepted the Alliance's communications. Keep going. We'll discuss everything on the way. I can't go back the same way. Too steep? And too dark. I need to find another way. The path along the cliff looks much safer. I think I can get down here. Good. Proceed. Okay. to a hitcher for quite some time. Then he had an octal guard me, but its algorithms proved easy to trick. What do you make of this man? What kind of person is he? He 
who wasn't very pleasant to deal with. But that's understandable, given the circumstances. He's lost, angry, scared. It's a shame I failed to win him over. And we need a new plan. Well, yeah. Seems so. Although I could use some rest. Uh, it was a rough day. A night. A rough couple of days, actually. Sorry, Doctor, but you'll have to get away from there first. Whilst traversing this planet, I'm becoming more and more convinced that what I know is not the same as what exists, what can exist. Yeah, I must admit it's an interesting thought, and quite disturbing. I think I know where to go. There's a hole from an antimatter beam on the other side of the canyon. Very well. Perhaps you can find out where the invincible landed. Oh, I didn't tell you the most important thing. Condor's here. On this planet. Condor? Yes. Looks like HQ got it all mixed up. Both the arrival time and the ship itself. What? That's unbelievable. How could the intelligence be so wrong? As soon as we return, I'll break their... I think I'll follow Milos, the one who transported remaining survivors. Not the Condor. He was heading there anyway. Maybe I can join his group. If they're still alive. Given the circumstances, that's quite unlikely. I know. Since I managed to find three living people. I have a feeling we're in the dark, but we have to find a way. Agreed. You should move on. Oh, that's not quite what I meant, but yeah, I probably should. Yes! The Hitra has a rover! Do you mean hat, Doctor? Well, well. You've never made jokes like that before, sir. I'm just glad you're fine. And that I'll rub that alliance prick, huh? Maybe. A little. Well, let's go. We need to get to the end of this insane story.
wondering what is Condor doing here? I have no idea. The Hitcher didn't tell me anything about it. Beautiful view. An hour seems like a minute, but a minute on a hot stove will seem longer than an hour. Sometimes. Driven to the place where they were stationed before they set up the base. Do you want to stop? Mm. Okay. Maybe I'll find something worthwhile. There's several options here. Are they still working? Yes. I wonder for how long. Sometimes I think we don't stand a chance. What are you talking about? About us, Astrogator. Humans. Biological organisms. All this so-called life is so fragile. Compared to the lifelessness of machines. So you found more bodies? One. Is it Milos? Talk to you later. 
Okay, I think that's enough sightseeing for me. If Milos kept going, so should I. Agreed. between past, present, and future is nothing but a persistent illusion. That's a quote, right? Yeah. I'm not sure why it came to mind. a problem. I'm listening. The route they took is blocked by a force field. There must be an Energo bot somewhere, but I don't know if I can get to it. Maybe you can go around the field. I'll check. Although, it's pretty narrow here. The route is blocked all the way across. Boulders are blocking the way, so even if I turn the force field off, we still can't proceed. Even if I find a way, I'll have to continue without the rover. Yeah, wouldn't make much sense. Please keep looking. Transporter. They're here. He's standing still in front of the force field. Is that Milos, convoy? I'll confirm. There's someone inside. More than one. Two. Hello, transporter. Ready yourself for the worst, Doctor. I am ready. I'm going in. Well, actually, I'm squeezing in. Still, no one here. Oh, they must be in the back. Oh, the door won't budge. Power's off. Moment of truth. Oh, it's on. Not exactly. The inner door is still locked, and the outer door is just shut. I repeat, now all doors... Oh, wait! The back door opened. Oh. No. This vehicle... It's a coffin, sir. Mass grave. They were all crammed in here. 
in the heat, in darkness, with no chance of understanding what's going on. Astrogator, someone's firing distress flares from near the hideout. Do you think it's Rohitra? Who else could it be? Did he realize I ran away? No. He broadcast a radio message, but didn't say a word about you, as if nothing had happened. Oh. It means he just started a new cycle. Please be more clear. He fell asleep and forgot what happened the whole day. And once again, he will wake up on the 26th day of the mission. I almost feel sorry for him. Don't joke about it. If I don't snap him out of this cycle, I'll keep repeating it until he dies. Or goes insane. Of course, I feel the tragedy in this man. You want to rescue him, even though he's still a threat. You don't have to save him.
is here. He can literally erase me from this planet if he wanted to. I know what's at stake. I can handle it. What? How do you? Uh, I'll tell you everything. Just shut up for a moment and listen. I will not. For Hitra, for fuck's sake. Do it for Spluskas and Lendor. You think it's a 26th day of the mission. Just after the attack on your base that left many of you in critical condition. But the truth is much worse. Milos left a long time ago. What? How, how do you... You fell victim to that attack as well. The microbot cloud has wiped all traces of your comrades' memories. Your long-term memory is probably fine. That is, up until the moment you found them. You keep forgetting everything that comes after. I have reason to believe it happens during sleep. As a result, you relive the same day over and over, waiting for backup that will never arrive. The micro-what cloud? That's bullshit! I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but... Focus, Rahitra. We've already met once. We spoke in your hideout. You've had me at gunpoint already. Tell me, where did you wake up today? On the mattress where you usually sleep? Or on the floor next to the radio? What does that have to do with anything? You see, we talked for a long time yesterday. And we fell asleep while we were sitting. The water bottle you gave me is still by the crate. Did you put it there last night? Don't mess with my head. Milos will come. Milos is dead. They're all dead. They've been lying nearby for hundreds of days. You were supposed to go and check why contact was lost. You were supposed to leave tomorrow. But tomorrow never comes. Stop it! I know that it's hard for you to believe. I'm not against you. I came back to help you. No, I'm warning you. I'll use my gun. Rahitra, I know you won't shoot me. How long have I been here? Four hundred and twenty-eight days. At least, that's how many times you've broadcast your morning message to Milos. This, this, this cloud? A result of the evolution of inorganic beings. It, it attacks the most important parts of biological organisms. Our brains. It responds to radio waves. That's how it found our crew. Damn it. Every time I broadcast, there's a wave on the biological devices. This electromagnetic field. The cloud produced it. That's right. This is how it damages our brains. Our robots and, and all machinery. Hey, switch around, but we have a problem. The cloud is coming. Right now? Yes. It's Copy that. What's going on? Who are you talking to? This is a topic for another time. The cloud will be here soon. Quick, lead to the hideout. Now, move! Can it get through the force field? Hey, hey! What are you trying to do? I'm done waiting. There's no need to anymore. There's no one left to look for. All that's left is revenge. Astrogator, I think he wants to fight. I don't think so. He's already opened the field.
What's this? You familiar with the energy transformation of Dirac emitters? Uh, thought so. Here, take it. You can help by shooting. I'll take care of maintaining the force field. When you aim, wait for the green light. Then you can take the shot. The device is connected to three combat machines. Okay. It sounds simple. reasonable option for me. Maybe it's time.
temperatures. Due to the interference of the force field, it floats several feet above the ground, so it doesn't pedal the surface. You're right. This madness needs to stop. If there's anything that can defeat the cloud. It will, definitely. We used to say that to send the Cyclops somewhere is like giving the task to the devil himself. Look, I've given you a simple choice, Yasta. Are you going or not? Go where there could be water, medicine, resources, or stay here to die. Wow, such a hard choice. I hope I won't regret it. Too bad you didn't mention earlier that you had a working saucer. But we can fly to Condor right away. Or even into orbit. Working is a big word. It's just a tin can with a couple of sputtering engines. Controlling it technically doesn't work. Y you could have mentioned that earlier, too. Open up. I'm getting off. Are you serious? Look around. You really don't have a choice. Just a minute. I'm waiting for the force field to shut down, which should be soon. He's not here. Reitra? He took his men to the ship. They're inside now. They had rather a hard landing. How do you know all this? Well, I heard him talking to them. To you. <sighs> Didn't he notice I wasn't responding? Yes, he did. He said he'd be back. If he expected me to wait here, he's sorely mistaken. Expected that we'll lose communications as soon as you enter the cargo bay. Sure thing. So many tons of steel. Wow. It's impressive. The Condor? Yes. Uh, it looked majestic in the pictures. In real life, too. I think I know where a hitch is. Conspicuous, I'd say. Sort of like a massive, heavily armed spinning top. Spinning top? Hmm. That's unexpected. If only we could get hold of its blueprints. It's one more thing, Yasta. This is important. I'll be able to confirm it in a while, but so far everything indicates. What is it, Astrogator? Headquarters were right about the Invincible. It's actually flying here. If I'm reading the message correctly, I'll be here in a few days. They're looking for the missing Condor. And they have no idea of the danger. So our mission made no sense from the start. We wanted to outplay the Alliance. But instead, we got ourselves into the same trouble. We still don't know everything. But yes, they're on a rescue mission. I'm entering the cargo hold.
Rachel. Where are you? If you're saying something, use the intercom. A small button to the right of the floor section. Couldn't you have woken me up? Oh, I can hear you now. Honestly, I prefer not to. Ready? Yes, now? What for exactly? If I'm going to sign up for something, I need to know the exact... Okay, never mind. I don't have time for this. See you later. Or not. Over and out. Hey, all right. Have it your way. I'm ready. Take me up. Do you hear me? Oh, what an asshole. Sorry, but you won't need this anymore. Whether you like it or not, I'm coming to you, Rahitra. quite at the bridge yet but I'm getting closer much closer Rahitra it must be the medical wing Surprisingly, everything's still running. Whilst we're hitch we're here. Ah, oh, bollocks. What is with all these security measures? Maybe I should ask him. On the end. Rahitra? How did you get to the upper deck? I have a card, but now... It doesn't work. Uh, not everyone had access to the bridge. Next time, rob someone of higher rank. Over and out. What an arsehole. Bingo. This one should do the trick. I just hope I can make it before a hitra attacks with that bloody Cyclops. If he hasn't already.
Now that you're here, why don't you help me? With what? With the probes. We're over the battlefield. I do have visuals from the Cyclops here, but I can't do everything on my own. Oh, wait. Activity's increasing. They're coming. Are you helping or not? Come on, Yast. It's about to start. I can't wait any longer. But why, Rahitra? What for? I'm aware that I may lose communications. The Cyclops won't stop fighting, but I'll lose visuals. You understand? That's not what I asked. Yasta, make a decision. Here and now. Come on. How's it gonna be? No. You're on your own. I'm gonna call my commander. Fine. Suit yourself. Just don't disturb me. It's me. I made it to the Condor's Bridge. What about Rahitra? He's here with me. Have it slowed down at all? On the contrary. There's going to be direct conflict. Any moment now. That's all good. May I suggest you? Ah, uh, did you hear that? Yes, yes. Time not to. Oh, what a fucking mess. I must check on him. Rahitra? What's going on? I don't understand. It was going so well. Is it over now? The field held? It got so many. It's gone completely mad. Now it's wandering around aimlessly. Sounds familiar. They look enraged. Yeah, pissed off like hell. Listen. I connected with my astrogator. We need to talk about what's next. I won't leave it like this. I guarantee you. Rahitra, your men are on their way here. On the Invincible. I've heard that before. Turns out it was true all along. Uh. They're flying here. Do you hear me? We'll sort everything out. So, Horpak is flying here with company? What an honor. And when will they arrive, if I may ask? I, I don't know exactly. And yet you're sure they're flying here, aren't you? Oh, don't be such a grump. It'll be fine. You'll see. Listen. I'm going back to the radio. I'll return soon. I'm back. The fight is over. Well, I think I know the outcome. I'm registering increased activity from the cloud. Yes. A complete fiasco. This was to be expected. You didn't expect the attack to succeed, did you? If you had seen Rahitra, it was like all the energy had drained out of him. Uh, maybe that's a good thing. To cool his impulsiveness, right? I guess so. I think he's finally ready to talk. I'd like to talk to him. Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. He should be able to hear you now. Hello, Condor. This is Astrogator Novik, commander of the IC Dragon Flagship. I repeat. This is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor Cruiser. Please come in. <laughs> Could you stop with all these Rohitra, Engineer Rohitra? Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak. 
which I guess makes me commander. Who would have thought? In that case, I make you an official request to join our forces, to prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree, officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. So far, however, your crew has not been cooperative. Anyway, we stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. As a counterattack, though, it disrupted our communications. <laughs> playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. Doctor, not nowadays. No, it's true. Fighting against the cloud is exceptionally difficult. But any opponent can be defeated. All it takes is the right tool. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity whose technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only pure energy. You still have an answer, new Mitra. Please, just tell me straight. What are you up to? I'm arming the charges. Arming what? Explosives? Cluster munitions? Hydrogen. What? Rahitra? Are you serious? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh. That's all right to us. Over the top, I'd say. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads to start with. And then? We'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rahitra? <sighs> Listen, Yasna, I know how I must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. But put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen later. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survive. They all deserve better than this. You know you understand. You like me. You would do anything for your crew. understand, yes. Although it's hard to talk about revenge here. We are dealing with creations of necro-evolution. Dead evolution. And probably non-sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like... Whipping the ocean for sinking a ship? Exactly. Like Xerxes. That's why I would consider this problem in the category of neutralization. Not vengeance. After all... Nothing guarantees the flies will stay on Regis Three if they continue to evolve. Wait a minute, Doctor. Even if they were to master space navigation, wouldn't it take hundreds of thousands of years? Millions of years, even, considering the evolutionary timeline. However, they could threaten humanity much sooner, by sheer chance. Not a chance I'm willing to take. That's not it, Reed. If we factor in sheer chance, we might as well get killed by a meteor. No, Novik. It's not a meteor or an ocean or a storm. They don't hunt or degrade or cripple you mentally. You, Rahitra, are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? <laughs> oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget, Rahitra. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think?
they're not stupid or hostile, but rather programmed to react to radio waves, to brain waves. How? They're breaking down communications to thwart the exchange of information. So, they see no difference between a man and a machine? They take our brains for transmitters. That's why they're attacking us? Exactly. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasin found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Most living organisms and mechanical creators of the cloud, as well as other products of dead evolution. The list is quite long. Hang on. Creators? Yes. Millions of years ago, someone must have built primordial mechanisms. Machines could have self-built in successive generations, but something must have created them first. I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are the fables. We've gathered evidence for us. How did these machines even get Who built them? Our cyberneticist had a hypothesis before we lost consciousness. About the Lyrans. Yes, apparently. Lyrans. Lyrans. It does ring a bell. Wasn't there a book about them? The Cravens monograph. According to his notes, before the explosion of Zeta Lyran, the sixth planet of the system was inhabited by intelligent beings. Let's say their scout ship landed here and that a disaster occurred. Some kind of reactor explosion, chain reaction. Suffice to say, the wreckage that landed on Regis 3 had no living beings on board. Oh, only the machine survived. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't argue. I'm sorry, but I don't know if there's any point in discussing this further. In short, we are facing an entity that has triumphed over countless adversaries, both organic and mechanical ones. I see no point in prolonging this discussion. For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I'd even say it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? That's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir, do you agree? Well? Yeah, I very much agree. Another attack would make no difference. Just a few flies are enough for the cloud to regenerate. What if we destroy their nests? No, Ritra. Unless we want to destroy the entire planet, it's impossible to eliminate them all. And even then, there's no guarantee they would die in space. After all, the flies need nowhere, water, or food, only solar energy. <sighs> but what else can we do if not attack? We can leave this place and never come back. We have a lander. Sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. You on the other hand? I'm surprised you didn't evacuate already. Well, I had to make sure you won't do something you'll deeply regret. Well, let's drop it, all right? Further discussion is pointless. The charges are almost ready. Rahitra, for fuck's sake, be reasonable! You won't stand down, will you? An escalatory solution won't work. Stop arguing. But Doctor... No, Astrogator. You can't always get your way. And you, Rahitra, blow up this cloud yourself and the entire planet if you want. Just let me fly away first. Can you at least do that for me? Yes, I'll wait. I've prepared Hopper for departure, but there's still a matter of access to the landing pad on the back. Novik, how do you know about our landing pad? Well, you know what they say? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Astrogator likes big ships. <laughs> right. Anyway, someone has to break the force field and open the dome. The field automatically deactivates when the dome is open. It's the same switch on the control station. All right. Sounds simple enough.
Look for the control station. There will be a lever that opens the valve. Okay, got it. Everything's ready, Astrogator. Copy that. Hopper is on its way. Good luck, Rahidra. Thanks. Connected. Great. Hopper is just landed. Okay. I can still make it in time. You think the hitter will start firing without warning, do you? I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Are you ready? I'll just close the hatch and... Nothing. I'm going to buckle up now. Ready. I made it. Copy that. I'm starting the engines. Three, 